What's up? My name's Andy. I'm a martial artist from Toronto, Canada, and in 2017, I was presented with the opportunity to travel to Thailand for the World Y Crew Ceremony. I couldn't handle spicy food, so naturally, I said yes, so I packed my bags, and dig, there I was, experiencing all the beautiful landscapes that Thailand has to offer. From the busy city streets of Bangkok to the cool countryside of Chiang Mai, to the white sand beaches of Krabi, and the history-rich temple ruined city of Ayutthaya, I got to know the locals, ate a lot of food, immersed myself in the culture, and of course, trained Muay Thai at the best gyms, the local gyms, oh, the hotel gyms, and well, pretty much anywhere I could. This is me and my camera discovering the real Thailand. On episode 3 of Discovering the Real Thailand, I pack my bags and depart from Bangkok to head north to Chiang Mai. In Chiang Mai, I indulge in some specialty northern cuisine called khao soy, which is a noodle soup dish. Mm. Chicken is really moist. After filling my stomach, I head over to a remote location just outside of Chiang Mai called Lampoon. In Lampoon, I learned about bamboo protection tattoos as well as get tattooed myself. From there, I hang out for a couple days in Chiang Mai and visit Patera Elephant Farm, the Sunday Walking Street Night Market, some more awesome temples. Finally, I take a private speedboat to KYN Muay Thai, which is a Muay Thai camp just off the water. Alright guys, I'm here at uh, Bangkok Airport. Uh, leaving Bangkok now, we're headed out to Chiang Mai. Uh, gonna fly out to Chiang Mai and um, go learn about bamboo tattoo, bamboo uh, protection tattoos. So that's gonna be pretty cool. Probably gonna get tattooed myself. Uh, and uh, here we go. Hi guys, so today I'm taking Andy to one of Chiang Mai's most favorite khao soy, which is a uh, northern Thai uh, uh, curry noodle. And they have multiple ones here. They have pork, beef, chicken, and you can also get all of that in one. My favorite is the uh, beef uh, northern curry noodle. Um, you guys should definitely try this if you're in Chiang Mai. Uh, not spicy. Learning how to use. So got some kind of uh, spicy sausage here, which is uh, very nice. Mm, very good. Very good. So what we have here are natural um, seasoning, natural seasoning, um, lime, uh, red onions, and um, uh, pickled cabbage. So you add this, all this to your kosoi based on your taste. All right, I got a mixture of chicken, pork, and beef. Um, so this looks really good. Three in one. Three in one, baby. I'm gonna add special. <laughs> I'm gonna add a little bit. Boom. Red onions. Oh, oh, oh. I'll squeeze this lime in there. <laughs> Oop. Okay, time to eat. Yeah, I'm gonna put some more chili. Uh, and add for the extra spice. The spice is nice. They're delicious. And I just completely destroyed that.
self-confidence and also different sign or different pattern that they have Sakyan uh, giving different Muay feeling. Uh, if Muay Thai fighter they suck, uh, Sakyan with a uh, figure tiger. of tiger, it's for power. To, to gain uh, uh, respect or fairness from opponent. But if they, uh, they, they tattoo uh, a symbol of Hanuman, Hanuman is a, a monkey god from Ramayana story. So Hanuman is actually he's a great warrior. And of course, monkey is a movement, it's fast and also powerful. So it's all for that feeling. Hindu, yeah. yeah. But Thailand before we become Hindu or Buddhist, we already have Hinduism. So when we converted to Buddhist, we still keep the old belief of Hindu. So Hanuman, yes, right, right. Uh, it's very, very, uh, what we call great mixture in Thailand. Even royal ceremony also have Buddhist and Hindu together. And so we hustle and bustle, it's more relaxed, um, it's, 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 it's extremely relaxed and chilled over here. Um, so I had a great time in Chiang Mai. It, it was tough to uh, to capture the, the essence of Chiang Mai um, in such a short amount of time. I, I feel like I didn't do it justice, um, but you have to come here to experience, experience uh, the beauty of it. day in Krabi, Thailand and today I'm going to be taking a private speedboat to uh, to an island 
uh, to train at KYN Muay Thai, so I'm going to get in a Muay Thai session, and then from there I take the private speedboat uh, island hopping in, do some snorkeling and stuff like that. So, never gone snorkeling before, so it's going to be pretty cool, and uh, let's check it out. KYN Muay Thai right now. It's actually right on the waterfront. I didn't know. But you can hear bags cracking in the distance, which is my favorite noise. There's beachfront Muay Thai camp, baby. So instead of taking the kayak, I'm just gonna walk. Wow, not too bad. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's not oh, it's a little not sticky. Too deep, not too deep. Not deep guys. Oh, sorry. <laughs> oh, broke my flip flop. So. I, uh, I stepped out in the sand and my flip flop detached, but that's okay. Yeah. Okay. 
นี่เล็บเล็บนี่กุ๊บมีเล็บไปโอ้ยแอลเบตเอ็ดดิสวินดาวดูเอ็ดดิสเฮ้ยเฮ้ยฮาร์เดอร์เฮ้ยเฮ้ยฮาร์เดอร์กูดเฮ้ยเฮ้ยเฮ้ยตะโต้ตะโต้เฮ้ยเฮ้ยเฮ้ยเฮ้ยเฮ้ยเฮ้ยเฮ้ยเฮ้ยเฮ้ยเฮ้ยเฮ้ยเฮ้ยเฮ้ยเฮ้ยเฮ้ยเฮ้ยเฮ้ยเฮ้ยเฮ้ยเฮ้ยเฮ้ยเฮ้ยเฮ้ยเฮ้ยเฮ้ยเฮ้ยเฮ้ยเฮ้ยเฮ้ยเฮ้ยเฮ้ยเฮ้ยเฮ้ยเฮ้ยเฮ้ยเฮ้ยเฮ้ยเฮ้ยเฮ้ยเฮ้ยเฮ้ยเฮ้ยเฮ้ See here, uh, the training is very good, very solid, uh, fundamental, uh, traditional Muay Thai, uh, real Muay Thai, and uh, everybody over here was uh, the trainers are great and everybody's friendly. I think uh, one thing that I notice at uh, at good gyms is not just the technique that is good, but also the people, the trainers and and the staff, and everybody kind of on site and what makes uh, gyms uh, different. Uh, and unique are the people that actually train, uh, that show up here or, or are already here. So the people are, are, are really great um, here to go along with great training as well. So I'm very happy I made it out here. Uh, definitely going to be returning sometime in the future. Um, this is a great gym. I would definitely check them out. They have uh, pretty so uh, very solid credentials, and uh, I'll check it out. They have accommodation on site, and uh, yeah, I haven't seen anything uh, like this uh, throughout Thailand. I haven't seen a, a camp uh, right off the water, so uh, it's, it's definitely very good uh, to come here, and everybody's very welcoming, and uh, a, lo a lot of good stories and a lot of good uh, theory, 
theory about, about behind the practice and the Muay Thai techniques that they actually use. Um, yeah, it was, it was great. You know, with it's hard to be sad when you look out and this is your view every day. You know, as long as you get to eat and get to train. I mean, in my, uh, for me, getting to eat, getting to train, and, and, and getting this view out here. Um, that's that's pretty much enough. That's enough to stay happy. Uh, okay, uh, this is my gym, uh, KY in Muay Thai. For my gym, I real real Muay Thai. If somebody want to learn Muay Thai, I mean, to take me real Muay Thai. Or if somebody want to exercise or like that, I mean, I treat everyone different. Number one, I happy with my life here. I can teach somebody. I want to plow with. I do something. Alright guys, I'm here at uh, Telewek and it's pretty much a small collection of islands and uh, low tide you can actually walk across the water parts and you can walk across uh, to the other side but uh, I'm just going to be here for a little bit. Uh, I'm going to get a swim in and then we're going to move to another island and uh, get some snorkeling in. Thank mm -hmm. you. 